Palantir makes it no secret. They've worked with the intelligence groups around the world and looks like they've made a huge product out of it. Well, their latest demo showcases how that work has developed and it caught my eye because you can say it's literally the Palantir for those who are familiar with the Lord of the Rings. So we open with the Senior Vice President of Strategic Projects from Crisis 24. Noting how technological growth is just getting faster and faster and accelerating with multiple cold and hot wars happening at the same time around the world and sets the tone really that Palantir's importance in all of this. With their team, they had former top tier CIA analysts, advanced models, natural language processing as well, and deep learning engineers all in tandem working together. And in this combination with Palantir, they've developed the most encompassing 360 degree intelligence solutions in their opinion. The dynamic risk library is powered by AI, as well as allowing Crisis 24's clients get the edge around forward looking intelligence across many industries, like security, commodities, geopolitical, insurance, and financial markets. Then their chief analyst speaks where he notes the superpower is really getting the boots on the ground, the analyst, the visibility that they actually need and actually is valuable. It automatically gets a report outputted for these people to become decision makers based on the information that it has and not needing to go through the grunt work of compiling and summarizing, categorizing all these things together manually. And this is before you even have to think about it. These anticipatory intelligence reports give people the game changer with AI, which is making sense out of the huge amounts of data that no human can process themselves. They build the structured analytic techniques that will then have the AI make sense of the data available. So then their technical lead speaks on how they integrated Palantir into their operations and the tech stack. And to no one's surprise, they bring up the ontology. And that's the big thing that's powering this because of the true coming together of their data and the relationships between them, which in turn then allows them to use the RAG architecture or retrieval augmented generation, which allows the LLM to actually get this contextually. So this reduces hallucinations while extracting the relevant events for that user that they actually care about and is useful, and then get the information that it actually impacts them. And then they close out essentially saying they can cut through the noise and Pantra is a game changer for them, not only intelligence, but businesses at large. So this was a nice high level preview of the dynamic risk library. And honestly, this is a big deal for global companies that are trying to get their edge, no matter how small. The ability to tie together all these things happening in the world, even if it's not directly to your business, that is like say data that you can get from your inventory. And it gives you some level of forward insight to figure out what can be your next move before others when you're tying these external sources and then enabling the ground floor analysts to be actionable on the things most relevant to them ASAP is just so powerful when compared to thinking of a traditional analyst who overlaps with this automated work of compiling, summarizing, figuring out what data is actually useful, and then making your analysis that way and getting actions and recommendations. But compared to the risk library, it seems that they've already way ahead of this by automating a ton of that groundwork. But what are your thoughts though on the latest demo? Check it out on Pounder's YouTube channel when you have a chance. And I'll see you in the next video.